Hello, this is Dr. Bill Cardoso from Critical Action, and today we're going to explore uh, how we can use X-ray inspection systems to find uh, defects and issues with uh, stencils. In today's presentation, we're going to look into three different uh, common problems that happen, happen with stencils. Uh, cleaning issues, defects, overall uh, defects, uh, broken stencils or other types of problems, and also uh, design problems. So here's one example of how you can use your X-ray inspection system uh, to find cleaning problems. And in this case, uh, you can see here uh, it's a QFM uh, that um, had um, one of the openings uh, in the stencil was clocked by uh, solder, so it wasn't cleaned properly. And as a result, uh, the there was an ins insufficient amount of solder uh, deposited on the board, which then caused uh, open pad. So you can zoom in a little bit here, and you can see that in this Q QFN, <clears throat> there's a fillet of solder. And uh, in this uh, two pads here, you can see that uh, there's no fillet. Uh, there's not, there was not enough uh, solder applied in this pads uh, to create a nice solder, uh, uh, reliable solder connection. And you can see another one here as well. Uh, defective stencils uh, would cause excessive solder to be deposited. So exactly the opposite problem, where too much solder is deposited now, which then causes shorted pads. This is an example. Uh, this is another SMD uh, component. Uh, that had um, uh, the three pads instead of being individually uh, windowed in the stencil, uh, they were actually, the, the fingers were broken, which caused this large amount of solder which would be deposited, and uh, then this created this short uh, between the pads on this component. Uh, lastly, the third problem we're going to talk about today with stencils is uh, our design problems, right? Uh, in this case, uh, the design of this stencil uh, led to too much solder to be applied on the center pad, and as a result, the components tilted because the uh, pads on the edges of this QFN part uh, didn't have enough uh, superficial tension to keep uh, the component, the QFN in place, uh, and the large amount of solder on the center pad uh, lifted the part, and uh, so when the board went through reflow, the component just uh, tilted. And you can see here uh, this effect by looking at the misalignment between the pads of the component and the pads on the board. The opposite problem uh, happens when not enough solder is deposited uh, uh, on the, uh, by the stencil. So there's not enough opening on the stencil to um, put enough solder to create a reliable uh, connection between the part and the board. And in this case here, you can see a very large amount of uh, voiding, which is caused by uh, you know, a lack of solder uh, to cover this large area of the QFN. And here's another example where you don't have enough solder, thus causing excessive voiding. You can see a lot of voiding here, which is uh, represented by this uh, lighter area. For more information, please contact us at 760-752 1192 or find us online at creativeelectron.com. Thanks. Quay, what you want?